Alright guys, I'm going to be doing a video review of my Calcutta backpack. Um, I hope the wind isn't too loud. I uh, can't fish today. It's a little windy outside. You guys can see a lot of seaweed. So I just figured I would review my taco bag. Uh, it's by Calcutta. I picked it up at Strike Zone Melbourne. Um, about, it's probably been about six months or so. So this bag has been out a lot, has gotten wet. And now just doing a review on this exact bag because it is it's amazing it's got so many features um it's um price friendly um i think i picked it up for 65 dollars if not less so let's get started now let's get started with, with the front well actually you now let's start from the back so back um there's cushion there's some nice cushion in the back and on the very bottom one uh it opens up and it's got this cover to make it waterproof. You guys can see, covered the whole bag. Oh, it did a bad job, but it'll cover the whole bag, like so. And your bag's now rainproof. So let's take that back out. in there all right other external features it's got plier holders over here on the side so some cheap amazon stainless steel pliers with cutters and lock that up and have it attached to this right here uh, other side we got uh, i think this is meant to be uh glasses holders but i use it for my fillet knife and with this velcro over here, you can slide it in, velcro it down, and put this up and down. Bam. Uh, now let's start with this pouch over here. So this right here is made for sunglasses. It's a hard sunglasses case. And what I use it for is just random weights. Now I got three, four, one, two ounce weights. I got these two guys just in case they go to the river or I want to do some drift fishing. These guys in there. Uh, let's start this right here the first pocket uh, this is my favorite feature by far open this up got some surf fishing rig holders uh, right here a little zipper uh, this is where I keep my beads uh, this little pouch to keep extra rigs in there run them rigs a little Betty kit with some band-aid and stuff like that. The aspirin, some baby sunscreen just need to forget it for my baby. Let me go ahead and close that back up. And here it is. Uh, you can you touch this and add more pouches. That's what I did. Added a few more on there. You can see this bag has been used. <laughs> it's got some random rigs in there. Try to organize it. Oh, there's some sand in there too. All right. That's my favorite part by far. That was what sold me on it. I was tired of keeping rigs in their bags and stuff like that. So that right there was a game changer for me. Okay, let's go for the big pocket. Big pocket. Fully opens up got two pouches over here on the bottom here um, I keep some casting shark rigs this one got a lot of space here are some casting shark rigs this one I'm keeping some paddle tails and some sabiki rigs and some magic fishing line this right here so you can wrap your shrimp or um, any bait that would otherwise come up the hook easily that's what I use this for. Um, I got this for about a dollar from Terra Firma Taco. Um, I'll link them up in the video description. I uh, just some tsunami sabiki rig. Good to see some bait fish and I don't have a cast net. Alright, so right here I fit four of these guys. First one, very size of hooks from Amazon. From, um, 1, 0, 3, 0, 5, 6, 7, no, not 7, 8. Or two, yeah, just size hooks. 
Oh, second one, Subplano, waterproof still away. Some top water lures, just some tsunami jigs. Um, I forgot what these guys are called, but they're actually good for bluefish. Um, my favorite resort, top, top water lure. This one would be good for trout as well. Put that in there. Side. Coming over here to this one. Swim baits, jig heads, um, that's about it. Uh, life target mullet, um, some voodoo shrimp, tsunami swim baits. I haven't said that yet. Put in there. And last but not least, the, the original box that came with it. Uh, it does come with, I think, uh, three boxes of these. Uh, it's got a bucktail in there, some circle weights, um, some rig making stuff um these are for bottom fishing for sheep's head totally forgot what they're called but they're they, they work really good for sheep's head some random floats you got some one no hooks some random hooks bunch of swivels um sliding snap snap locks for my shark rigs some random beads in there some random stuff but, uh, that wraps it up um if you guys have any questions about the bag please let me know um this has been the best second bag that I've found so far or if you think there's a better one out there that's as price friendly as this one please let me know <laughs> but so far for me this has been a game changer um, everything's nice organized and neat right now so let's love this bag here it is one more time that's what it looks like all right thanks for watching